my voice is screaming out to my own ears uh, That feels different from when I hear yours Now that's just the way it is I'm here to speak out about HIV and AIDS as it affects the black gay men in my community. Alright, so one thing that I find very interesting amongst the black gay men within my community is that we put a lot of emphasis on the social, how we are socially and the way people perceive us. As in fashion or social media, um, we take more time and focus on that as opposed to the actual sexual health aspect of the things that we do. We talk about our sex acts and how many people we have sex with and how that person looked and how good they look, but we rarely talk about having conversations with our partners about HIV status or STD status. Our well, conversations are very limited. They have very low content. Via social sites such as Jack or Grindr, A for A, the conversation often looks like, are you a top? Are you a bottom? How do you like to get fucked? There's very limited conversation about HIV status or STD history or are we going to use condoms when we actually have our sexual encounters. I think that's something that we definitely need to bring to the table and I think it's something that we definitely need to speak boldly about. The black gay men in my community, um, especially amongst the young black gay men in the community that we find pride in dealing with men who are identified as DL or discreet or the trade as we may call them or they appeal to be straight. But we really often talk about the sexual risk that we put ourselves at by dealing with someone who identifies as greater than HIV AIDS. You are greater than HIV AIDS. Us as a black gay community, we are greater than HIV AIDS. There's nothing I know that can break us down. They can't break us down.